Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And in this video, I'm going to show you some things to see around the little town of Kilgore, Texas, which is way up in the northeast part of Texas. There is one really special thing here that I'm a big fan of. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the place where you're going to want to camp if you come to Kilgore in your RV. So stick with me and I'm going to show you around town. Now first is the Whataburger Sports Complex, which is a really huge, huge sports complex, especially for a small town. And here they've got an oil well going, painted Whataburger's colors of orange and white. You see the Whataburger's logos all over the place. But you know what? There is no Whataburger at the Whataburger Sports Complex. <laughs> if you want a Whataburger, you got to drive into town. One of the three museums is the East Texas Oil Museum. The last time I was here in Kilgore, I did a full video inside the museum. So I'm not going to redo that. I'm going to put a link below in the description box so you can go and watch that video if you want. Then just one block down from here is the Rangerette Museum. I'm going to show you next. Rangerettes is a dance drill team for Kilgore College. And I'm also going to put a link in the description box below for a full video I made of the museum last time I was here. I am a big fan of the Rangerettes. I've also made two videos of their performance at the Kilgore College Ranger football team at the halftime games. So I'll put a link below for those two videos I made of their halftime performances which are really enjoyable. The Rangerettes are just the cutest thing there is. <laughs> the third museum is the Texas Broadcast Museum. Now the problem is it's only open on Friday and Saturday and I happen to be here on a Monday. This is looking in the window so what I'm going to do is put a link below to a place where you can find a bunch of pictures of what is in here. I'd like to go in and see it, but I'm not going to sit around for four days. <laughs> but if that interests you, now you know. And the other thing I wanted to show you is an outdoor display called the World's Richest Acre. Kilgore was built on the oil business. Major oil fields around here and they have these derricks left that are right downtown Kilgore. They've even got a scale model of them here. Here are some plaques that do give you some explanation of the history an oil field production does end at some point <laughs> when they get all they can. Here is one of the pumps. And here's an explanation plaque of the miniature derricks of which they once had 40 of them. And I can see how at some point this could have been the world's richest acre, which is now a city park <laughs> in downtown Kilgore, Texas. Across the street from the world's richest acre park are a bunch more of these original derricks. And this building here is a railroad station. This tells all about it. 
and here's some more history about it and the derricks across the street from the world's richest acre park they just keep on going by the way they do have a walmart here and if you're looking for a recommendation where to have lunch i suggest mckay's ranch house they have an american hey, food like buffet with a salad bar and a dessert bar so how does this look folks and right across the street from the Whataburger Sports Complex is where you want to camp in Kilgore. Let's see Harris Street RV Park. And it says in order to pay the daily fee, you go to the City Hall at that address. And you see there it's $20 a day. And right beside the sign there is the dump station. I went by the City Hall and they've got this form you fill out. So if City Hall is open, go inside and pay. They even take credit cards. But if they're closed, then they do have a drop box outside the building. There are eight sites and each one has a concrete pad like that and you get a water faucet and electricity is 20 30 and 50 amp and you get a picnic table barbecue grill trash barrel there's a dumpster out front too so this is a really nice park owned and operated by the city well folks if you ever come through Kilgore now you know some things that you can do if you have a spare day here Good day.